tonight, oh God Almighty. We just want to thank you for all that you have done, oh God. And for all that you are about to do, Father, our God Almighty, as you have graced us, O God Almighty, with our substance, O God. Our God Almighty, we are about to give back unto you, O God Almighty. O God, and as we give, we ask of thee, Father, O God Almighty, that you multiply it according to your word. O God Almighty, that you bind every unclean spirit, O God Almighty, that comes, O God, to attack, O God Almighty, our lives, O God Almighty. We shut them down now. In the name of Jesus, God, have thy own sweet way. In Jesus' name, amen. Bless the Lord, everyone. Can we all stand and raise our right hand? As we give our offerings tonight, we are believing God for jobs are better jobs, raises and bonuses, Promotions and benefits, deals and better deals, houses and lands, cars and limousines, checks in the mail, debts demolished, bills paid off, sickness to miraculously disappear, and the return of everything that the devil has taken from us. And we seal that with a hearty hallelujah. hallelujah. Receive the King Jesus Pentecost. Come on, open your mouth and praise him one more time. Come on, open your mouth and praise him tonight. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. I am a warrior. I am a conqueror. I'm an overcomer. In the name of the Lord, I am a warrior, I am a conqueror, I am an overcomer, in the name of the Lord, we are soldiers in the army. We have, we have to fight, fight. oh, no, we, we have, have to fight. We, we got to hold up the bloodstained banner. We, we got to hold it up until we die. Hey, we are soldiers in the army. army. We, we have to fight, oh, we, no, we have, have to fight. We got to hold up the bloodstained banner. We got to hold it up until we die. Don't talk, oh, no. I'm a child of God, and I got the victory. I 
and give the Lord a praise. Give the Lord a praise. Give the Lord of Jesus a praise. Come on, open your mouth and give the Lord Jesus a praise. Come on, open your mouth and give the Lord Jesus a praise. We are taking it. We are taking it. We are taking it. We are so ever they are going. We are there ever they are. We are going there and we are taking it by force. Come on, give the Lord a praise in this house. Praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God. We are hungry and thirsty for souls to be saved. We are so ever they are, we are going to them and we are going to take their souls into the kingdom of God. Put your hands together. Put your hands together for the Lord. God has been good to us. God has been good. God has been good. Praise God. Praise God. God has been good. Praise God. We have in our midst tonight. Praise God. Bishop Williams. Put your hands together. As he come and greet you. Come on. Keep the praise going. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come give God some praise up in here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Greeting in the mighty name of Jesus. We are here, praise God, another time to give God glory. Praise the name of God. We are a bit tired, but we, got, we are here to give God glory. Praise God Almighty, worthy to be praised. Praise God Almighty. Let me greet, oh God, our apostles and all the officers in their respective places. Wonderful saints of God who love the choir. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are here to take it by force. Praise the name of the Lord. If you are here, praise God, it's good to get saved and to give God your life because it's the best thing. It's the reason for living. The Lord bless you. Be good now. Bye-bye. Come on, put those hands together. Put those hands together. Put those hands together. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. We come here to take it. And we're not going to leave it. We're taking it by force. What do you think we're going to take? Huh? I don't know what you plan to take when you're singing that song. You know? But the best thing that you could ever take is a soul out of hell and put him into the kingdom of God. That is why we're not giving up until the truck is here we're nearby we're near we're near we're very 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 near amen come on put your hands together put your we're we near praise god we're near the truck we're near it we're near it but almost doesn't mean it is finished amen amen praise god so we still have the truck on, on our agenda we are nearby so just sing the song so you come here for techie. So if they are in Matthew's Lane, Tivoli Gardens, Rima, Jungle, Mountain View, we are going there to take their souls out of the hand of the devil. So the bishop is going to put a sound system on that truck and travel to every parish, every community, every town, every nook, every cranny and preach them out of hell. Because the great commission is go. Those two words, let us alone. Go. Everybody stand. And that's what we plan to do. Come out of the four walls and go and reach them. Put your hands together as we receive our general overseer, Bishop Winston Royal Baker, with the word, care of the Holy Ghost, in Jesus' name. Somebody keep those hands clapping. Come on, you can do better than that. Open your mouth and praise the name of the Lord. Come on, warriors. Worshippers, show your head back on Shabbat the King. He's worthy to be praised from the rising of the sun unto the going down of the same. Our God is to be worshipped. Somebody wave those hands and glorify God in this house. Come on, you can do better than that. Open your mouth and magnify the Lord Jesus Christ. For he is good and his mercies endure it forever. Somebody wave your hands and give God a good praise in this house. 
Give the Lord a wave offering in this house. He's worthy to be praised. Please, while you remain standing, turn your Bibles with me to the gospel according to Luke. The gospel according to Luke. Glory to God. The gospel according to Luke. Chapter 5. When you are there, shout a hallelujah. Luke chapter 5, verse 4. Luke chapter 5 and verse 4. God is a good God. Are you there with me? Now when he had left speaking, he said unto Simon, Launch out in the deep and let down your net for a catch, a drought. Launch out in the deep. Let down your net for a drought. Let us pray. Eternal God, our Father, our rock, our shield, our butler. God that declared, let there be light, and there was light. God of Abraham, God of Isaac, and of Jacob. Here we are in your house one more time. You speak to us today, God, but we need another word. Speak to us again, Holy Spirit. Because if you don't speak, what shall we do? Speak and have your way in this house. Arise in this house and let all your enemies be scattered. We declare victory. Somebody throw your head back and plead the blood of Jesus Christ. Come on, somebody, plead the blood of Jesus Christ. Before you take your seat, I want you to Turn to four people and tell them, launch out into the deep. Come on, tell them, launch out into the deep. My God. Not one, not two. But turn to four people and tell them, launch out in the deep. Hallelujah. It's time to launch out. Where is the warriors in here? It's time. It is time to launch out. You better slap that seat and let your spirit know that I'm launching out into the deep. Somebody say, into the deep. Hallelujah to God. We were in Kingston today a few hours ago. We gathered together, hundreds of us, hundreds of us, gather together and have a ball in the Holy Ghost. And we, we, we drive, no, sorry, fly. No, we drive from Kingston and we are in, you don't know Jesus take us on eagle's wing. Why are you looking at me like that? And we are here tonight to give God another praise. Because God is a good God. A hallelujah to God. And we, I want you to know that God is calling the church to move from where you are and step into a new dimension. When I was in Kingston from Friday night, I've been talking about the seven furniture that is in the tabernacle. And I told you that the seven furniture, it speak of the dimension that one dwells. It speak of where you are in God. Because when man sin, 
men fell out of fellowship with God. It was a complete, a perfect fall. Dead in trespasses and sin. The day you eat of this fruit, you shall surely die. To die is to have a dead spirit. Now, one cannot communicate with God if they are spiritually dead. Now, God is a spirit. And they that worship him must worship him. In, it's a must. You have your Bible? Let's look at that verse. St. John 4, 24. Let's look at that verse. St. John 4, 24. Let's look at that verse. First principle of serving God. Somebody say first principle of serving God. Verse 24, are you there? God is a spirit. Look in your Bible. You realize that that S for spirit is capital? Look. So whenever it is referring to God, it's capital. So when the Bible said God is a spirit, speaking to God, watch that. Watch the verse. They that worship him must worship him in? Look in your Bible. You realize that the last spirit is common? In other words, God is a spirit. And only spirit can communicate with God. Should I go through that again? God is a spirit. If you're going to communicate with God, you've got to communicate with God through your spirit. Because God is a spirit. And they that worship God can only worship God through your spirit. You have that. Can I move on now, please? Hallelujah. When man sinned, God said to man, the day you eat of this fruit, you shall surely die. The day you eat of this fruit, you shall surely die. He ate the fruit and lived 930 years. And God said, the day you eat it, you will die. That means... There's a part of the man that is dead and he was still walking and talking and living. The same day he ate the fruit, his spirit died. Now, from the moment that takes place, he can no longer communicate with the realm of the spirit. So, <clears throat> When God met man, the man could see angels. The man could see in the realm of the spirit as clear as he see in the realm of the flesh. He was able to function in the realm of the spirit and in the realms of the physical. When he died, he becomes spiritually, his spirit died. And so he can see in the spirit. He can't hear in the spirit. He can't discern spiritual things. He, he, he cannot communicate in the spirit. Are you coming with me? It is a perfect. It's like you are connected to JPS and when you are disconnected you cannot function you have lost that can a court take place that's what happened with Adam and so Adam fell seven dimensions away from God 
It's a perfect fall. God determined for man to come back into fellowship with him. That's God's divine will. You're coming with me. So now God said to Moses, build me the tabernacle. I want you to build it according to the pattern that I have shown unto thee. Somebody said, the blueprint. When you're building a building, when you're building a house, you have a? What's the other name for blueprint? Oh, somebody said, a plan. A plan. Tell somebody, say a plan. We call blueprint plan. But every time you pray, Jesus said you must ask for the blueprint. <laughs> Somebody said plan and will. When you pray, he said you must always pray. Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. Somebody said will, plan, blueprint. So it can be done in earth. Just as how. So there is a heavenly tabernacle. And God told Moses to make the earthly tabernacle after the blueprint, the pattern which I have shown unto thee. It blows my mind here because it shows how important man is to God. Because even heaven is designed. Oh, Shia Basa. The pattern is not from here. The pattern is. So we see that it was here first. God was with man. Heaven was with earth. And when Adam commit that sin, heaven leave earth. Went back to heaven and Moses met God and God gave him a blueprint of what was. Are you coming with me, Bible scholars? Are you here with me? And so now man is dead. Man is spiritually dead. And Jesus come to bring back man into fellowship with God. I told you on Friday night, I won't go through that. I told you that Jesus is a sacrifice. Jesus' flesh, hallelujah, is that sacrifice. And that's why they put him on the outer court. He was crucified outside of Jerusalem, signifying the outer court. When God gave Moses the blueprint, God was showing man the distant he is from God. God is showing man where he's coming from and the way to get back. Somebody said the blueprint. Tell somebody the tabernacle is designed by God to show man the distance and to show man how to get back there. So everything that you see Moses do is a shadow the tabernacle is a shadow of salvation plan. Tell somebody it's the blueprint of salvation plan. You're coming with me. So, in the tabernacle, there are five furniture inside and two on the outside. The tabernacle is separated in three parts. Outer court, inner court, and holy of holiest. You're coming with me. Somebody say outer court, inner court, holy of holies. I go through that. I teach this church. We're not going through all of that again. But you know it already. And I told you that outer court is flesh, inner court is soul, and holy of holies is spirit. I told you that outer court is sunlight. I tell you that inner court is candlelight, and holy of holies is Shekinah glory. Huh? I told you, you're coming with me. I told you that it's separated in three parts. You have the way. So that's the way to God. The inner court is the truth about God. And the holy of holies is the life of God. So when Jesus said, I am the way, the way to God. 
the truth inside, the truth about God. And behind the veil is the life of God. Come on, let's talk a little bit, man. We're having church. Touch your neighbor, say, neighbor, you're not in infant school, please. So let's have church. Some people only come to jump and dance, and when the jumping and dancing is done, they get bored. Oh, touch somebody, tell them, look at me good. I'm not here just to dance. Tell them this is not just a dancing church. This is a word church. And this church is not just a word church. This church is a balanced church. The word have its parts to play and the worship have its part to play. So we are balanced. So touch your neighbor, say neighbor, when you finish dancing and you step outside and the devil attack you, you can dance him away. Where is the worshipers in here? Oh Jesus, touch your neighbor, say when you step outside and the devil come in like a flood, you can sing him away. You need the word. Where is the worshippers in here? Touch your neighbor. Say, so be balanced. Don't follow those who, who are bored. You know, some people who are bored, they don't want the word. You know? They don't want the word. Oh, Jesus, where is the worshippers? Tell the neighbor, give me the word, Bishop. Because when I leave this little country, I'm going to need the word over there. I'm going to have to teach. I'm going to have to preach. I'm going to have to instruct. So pour it in my belly, Bishop. Oh, Shia, where is the worshippers in here? It's kind of a little bit flat. Touch your neighbor, say, I'm not waiting until I'm over there. Then I, I, then I hear me now, boy, if me did know. No. Would have studied the word if me did know. No. Wouldn't stay outside, would have just stay in a church and just take what God give me. Oh, Shia, tell your neighbor, I'm not on that side. I'm on the side that is well equipped and is ready. So when I reach there, I say, what a good thing. That me never did that waste time at church. Oh, slap a neighbor say, I can't afford for waste then late hours here. There is a warriors in here, man. I could be in my bed. So I'm not going to waste these words. Where is the warriors? It's kind of a little bit flat. Let's have some church. Let's have some church. And so we see man fell from God man was in the holy of holiest with God communing with God devils was afraid of man no sickness could not come close to man there was nothing named depression no pain oh man carries the glory of God Man was clothed with the righteousness of God. The light of God was over man. And man didn't climb trees. Where is the worshippers? Man speak to tree and say, Mango, heed me a mango. And mango have to tree have to obey and heed up mango fruit. Where is the warriors in here, man? It's kind of flat. When man decide I'm not going to swim in the river, Freytes River, him just step out and say, water make me a bridge. And just walk on the water. Here is the worshiper. That's the power man carry. When he was right there with God, communing with God. Where is the warriors in here, man? I want to talk to some little boys and girls, some little church boys and some little church girls that don't know true Christianity. Oh, shy. That don't know what it means to be a son of God. Where is the worshippers? It's kind of flat, too. Flat man. Now, so the man was with God. And God walk with the man and talk with the man in the cool of the day. The man carries the very nature of God. He was in the image of God. He was like God. Oh, Shia. 
God says, come here, my baby boy. And God brought every living thing to the man. And the man started calling them by name. Oh, Shia. Anything you name, you own, you know. Where is the worshippers? Anything you name, you have power over. And so the Bible said the name that he gave was the name thereof. In other words, when dark come before Adam, Adam just said, dog, gotcha. Yes, I got it in my mind. When Adam say, cat, my daddy smile because it was the name that God have. Oh, Shia. The man was full of the Holy Ghost. The Spirit of God was resident in the man. The nine gifts of the Spirit was inside of the man, full up. The man vessel was full. Oh, Shia. The man cup was running over. Where is the worshippers? It's kind of fly. And how, Bishop, somebody said, Bishop, how you know? Said the man didn't have Holy Ghost when he in a garden of Eden. Because the Bible said the name he gave was the name thereof. And nobody can do that without the Holy Ghost. Because the Bible said the Spirit search it, the deep things of God and know them. So Adam had the spirit and the gifts was inside of him. So Adam switched over in the word of knowledge tap into the mind of God and know what God mm, called dog and called them dog. Where is the worshippers? When the man was there, lion was bad and could not bite him. Why? Because of him name him. Why? Because of him own him. Why? Because of him control him. God said, give everything to you, boy. Have dominion. Be the king. Rule. Oh, Shia. Shanda Messiah. The man was so powerful. Come here, lie. Lion, me attack. Come here. You are big cat. Come here. Come here, Haheen. Slap on the mouth and say, You look nice this morning. Go on. Where is the worshippers in here? Where is the warriors in here? Touch your neighbor, say, Neighbor, in control. The man of so much power. When, 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 no rain, no rain, no rain, no debout, you know. No rain, and no Jew, no fall upon him, you know. Where is the worshippers in here, man? I, I, I hear somebody, I say, Bishop, said the man in that garden. And we spot in sleep. The man locking with God. No Jew can't touch him. No heat of the deer. Son cannot smite him by day. He's such a son of God. If him wants some cloud, him does. Oh, Shia. Where is the worshippers? No son can burn that. He's a son of God. He carries the keys of the kingdom. All right, let's have some church, please. And so, he was not naked. So touch your neighbor, say, when the Bible said he naked and knew not, he became naked after he sinned. But before the sin, he was not naked. Before the, the sin, he was a king. And every king carry a robe. Every king carries a crown, you know. Every king carries a scepter. Oh, Shia, where is the Russian pastor? So, he was clothed. And he was not empty. He was filled. It is a sin when he commit that sin. It's not like you and I that commit a sin. When Adam commit a sin, Adam have to decide to sin. When Adam commit that sin, there was nothing named guilt. Your neighbor said before the sin there was nothing named guilt. 
So Adam don't know what it's like to feel guilty. Far. Oh, Shia Basa. For Adam to sin. You know, the Bible says Adam was that Adam transgressed. You know what that means? That means the man stay here and look out a road and he know in detail. Jesus, you want to go in a little bit more? You want to hear something? You know, say before Adam sin, Adam never have to calculate. Before Adam sin, Adam never have to say one and one make two. Have mercy now. You never know. Before Adam sin, Adam no have to study math. Adam no need to study English. All right, sure. Sure. I want to talk to somebody in you know, a man. Oh, Shia Basaya. For Adam to sin, Adam to Adam have to commit the act of high treason. Let me tell you what Adam did. It's like what's happening down in Israel now. You know when you are Israeli and and you control all the bomb them down in Israel. And you have a key for all the bomb them. And you know, say, Hezbollah and Hamas. Hamas. You know, say, they might come. And if, you know, open the door and give a soldier them, all the bomb them, Hamas are come. Hezbollah come, come kill off your people them. And you have to just decide, you know what? Yo. I want all on the dead, young man. You sell out Israel. And walk over the key in your hand. And watch the enemy destroy your nation. At that Adam do. Adam commit high treason. Adam sell out in kingdom. It was not easy. But he did not know what it would feel like. Somebody say high treason. The man become a traitor to in kingdom. That's the reason why when he commit that act, he dies same time. Immediately he become disqualified. Immediately he become a vagabond like Cain. The same thing Cain do. The same penalty where God give to Adam are the same penalty God give Cain. You know what God do to Cain? Drive him from before the gate. And send him out in exile. And the man said, me pain bigger than when me can be here. You can imagine a man commit murder. And God pay the man by run him out and yard. That's a man, the man. Man a ball. Where God, where man do? The man kill him, brother. Yes, that Adam do with me. Kill him, brother. And God, we believe that God is going to look on the man and say, Oi, you kill him, I will kill you back. Yes, you kill your godly righteous brother, I will make somebody kill you back. Yes, you know what was his pay? Move from here. Don't stay at the gate here, so go on. Yes, <laughs> Exile. When Adam commit that sin, God drive him from here. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. 
Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. Exile. Oh, Shia. It's just like Israel. When Israel turned their back on God, God allowed the enemy to come in at the yard, beat them up, put on chain upon them, and carry them gone in an exile. And the same story I repeat over and over and over and over. I got a show man did this time. 1948 when they come back in the land. Then cry and say, no, we're not cleave again. Oh, Shia. They are back in the land now, you know, coming out of 2,000 years of exile. And now they are in the land. And their enemies are trying to drive them out the land again. You don't know what's going on there, man. Where is the worship? Let's have some church, man. Let's have some church. Israel signifies the promised land. Touch somebody say, Israel signifies is a shadow of here. Israel is a shadow of here. Israel is a shadow of the land flowing with milk and honey. In other words, Israel, Israel is a shadow of paradise. It's a shadow of the garden of Eden. That's what Israel is in the place where them they know Jerusalem. Come on, man. And in Jerusalem, Jerusalem are the tabernacle, you know, man. And outside are those who are at the altar court, you know. Come on, no man. I want to give you something, man. Five years, man. No, you're, you're just a soaking in your belly. Where is the worshippers? Come on with me, man. Come on with me. Exile. Man is far away from the place named home. And God says, Moses, I want you to show man the distance they are from me. Build me a tabernacle. Shia I thought somebody tell them the tabernacle of seven different furniture. And the seven furniture speak of seven different places a man in a God. Oh, tell your neighbor, seven different dimensions. Oh, Shia Basa. Where is the worshippers in here? Ask your neighbor, where are you? Oh, Shanda. I feel I want to walk a little bit more. You know. Where is the worshippers in here? Come on, everybody. Touch your neighbor. Say, neighbor, we are on our way back. Oh, Shia. Come on, tell somebody, God came as a man, flesh, and he died out here. Shed his blood out here. He became the lamb that was placed on the altar. Out here. So that through his blood, he can shift us from here to here to here to here and bring us back. We soon talk. Let's let us have some church. Remember, I teach you already that. <laughs> Mm -hmm. anybody's going to serve God, the first thing you have to do is what? Have yourself a huh? sacrifice. You have to be at the brazen altar. May I have to go through all of that again? No, sir. can't just run and have it good in the belly. Touch your neighbor and say, out here are repentance. Where the sacrifice is made anytime somebody's going to serve God. The first dimension in God is repentance and turn. Come on, tell somebody the first move towards God is where you deny yourself. Take up your cross and follow Jesus. Shia, if you want to serve God, you have to follow Jesus. Where is the worshippers? He's the way to God. Come on, tell somebody you can't follow Krishna and reach to God. You cannot follow Muhammad and reach to God. You cannot follow Allah and reach to God. You can't go through Hinduism, Shiva, Brahma, Vishnu. You can't find God through Freemason. 
For in Freemason, you know what is Freemason? To the common people, it's called Lodge, where they serve Jabilan, Jachin, and Mubaran. You can't be a follower of Jabilan and find God. Where is the worshippers? Or oh, touch your neighbor, say you can't be a man and find God. You can't be a Jehovah wicked, no witness and find God. The only way to God is through Jesus Christ. Jesus said, I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life of God. If any man is going to come to the Father, they got to come through me. Where is the worshippers? Touch your neighbor, say neighbor. The first dimension is where a sacrifice is made. Is where self-denial is. Is where you take up your cross. If you're going to serve God, you must have a cross. Anybody have the cross? Anybody have the cross? You can't serve God with a crossless religion. Where is the worshippers? person here where is the warriors it's kind of tight somebody said the first dimension dimension is repentance and I told you the second dimension is water baptism that's on the outside in other words you are not in the kingdom as yet Jesus said to Nicodemus verily verily I say unto you Except you be born of the water and of the spirit, you can enter. That means that's on the outside. Come on, let's talk a little bit. So if you're going to serve God, repentance. If you're going to serve God, water baptism. But that doesn't mean you are saved. You got to step at the door. And at the door is the third dimension, which is called the golden lampstand. And that's where the fire is. Is. That's where you're baptized with the fire of God. Oh, sure. Can we go in a little bit now? Can we go in a little bit? You see, there are different dimensions, and it depends on where you are. Some people is at repentance, and they are not, they will never move from there. Every day they get up and I repent, repent, repent. Every day they get up, then they speak repentance. Them just live on repentance. They are in repentance city and they never move from there. Touch your neighbor, say neighbor, there's a higher level in God than repentance. Where is the worshipers? I gone too deep, you know. I gone too deep. I need, I gonna have to explain it. Let me touch the first tree and then we set it straight. Can we do that? Touch your neighbor. So we're having church tonight, you know, man. This one is heavy. Bishop is taking me to a new dimension. Is there anybody coming with us tonight? So the first thing is repentance. But when you repent, repentance should push you into baptism so if you just get up and say me, me repent me give my life to God and me want to serve God and, and if you just stay right there so you will never inherit the kingdom of God because there's more to God than repentance that's just the first seat that's just the first level dimension and when you truly repent you step from there and you move to water. Oh, Shia. And when you are baptized in water, God take away your sins if you baptize in his name. Where is the worshiper? Say something, man. Come on, somebody. Touch your neighbor. Say, neighbor, when you reach the dimension of water, you need to move from there because there's a higher level in God than talking and going to water, 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 water. If you go to some building, all them talk about a repentance and water. Oh, touch your neighbor. Say, not so, baby. That's baby stage. Who am I talking to? Baby preacher does preach for repentance and water baptism. 
Where is the worshippers in here? Oh, touch your neighbor, say neighbor, that's elementary thing. That's elementary preaching. When you come to church, every time you preach, repent, repent, baptize, baptize. Oh, shy. If you are at that dimension, that's the only thing you're going to preach. Who am I talking to? It's kind of flat. I want to go deep tonight. And, uh, not everybody's going to come. But I come here to call the church to move from where you are. Somebody slap your neighbor. Say, neighbor, repentance and water baptism. That's outside. That's fleshly. That's dealing with the flesh. Brands altar. Brands piercing. That's flesh. That's the outer court. When you reach to the door, God said, it's time to deal with that dead part. Where is the worshippers in here? It's time to open that blind eye. It's time to open that deaf ear. It's time for that dead spirit that to come back to life. We which were dead in our trespasses and sin. Has he quit? Somebody's equipping me to give life. Oh, touch two people, tell them to be quitting means to receive life. Oh, Shia. So when you come to the door, the golden lamp stand is there burning. Oh, Shia. Tell the neighbor that fire never go out. You know. Where is the worshippers? Tell the neighbor that fire never go out. You're crazy. Holy Ghost never sees. That's why when you come to a Holy Ghost church, the Holy Ghost people will tell you, you don't have to wait till you come to the altar to get Holy Ghost. Because Holy Ghost not only the altar, Holy Ghost will fall on you in the bank, Holy Ghost will fall on you in the market, Holy Ghost will fall on you in the taxi, anywhere you are, if your mind ever be at the right place, Holy Ghost find you in your bedroom. Where are the worshippers? Say something, no man. Tell two people it never go out. Oh, Shia. Third dimension. No. No. There's a danger in the apostolic church. Because the apostolic church stuck at the door stuck at spirit baptism stuck at the door you get the Holy Ghost at the door but God said when you get the Holy Ghost don't stay at the door stop playing with the lock stop looking at the beauty of the door he said in my father's house there are many furnitures there are many mansion dimension where is the warriors in here man pull your neighbor say come on we're going in tonight tonight is a deep night tell them tonight is a night of deep oh shy where is the worshippers so when you come now they, they tell you you need to repent them preach repentance every day, night. Nothing wrong with the preacher you want to preach. But if you're just a preacher alone, it means that this is your day. And this is your, your tent pitch. Where is the worshippers in here? You ever wonder why Bishop not get up every day and I preach one thing? You never see me come to church and preach fornication alone. Or I preach baptism alone. Or I preach Holy Ghost baptism alone. Where is the worshippers in here? Because I don't pitch my tent down there. I am a swinger shift to where he wants me. All right, let's go in because somebody's a little bit stiff. Somebody's getting a little bit jittery. And somebody's getting a little bit, uh, Jesus, off key. So let's have some church. Touch your neighbor, so let's have some church. And so when you come to church, then force if you repent. Nothing is wrong with that. They force if we go out water. 
Nothing is wrong with that. Them force you, them say, oh, if you don't get the Holy Ghost, I hell yeah, I go. Nothing is wrong with that. Tell somebody because all of that are truths, baby. Where is the worshippers in here? So nothing is wrong, baby. But there is more to God than those. Mm -hmm. There's more to God than that. You have to go there now because the foundation of God standed sure. And God said, if you don't come this way, you're a thief and you're a robber. So you got to come this way. But when you reach at the third dimension, there are higher heights. There are deeper depths in God. So the church will stop and in filling of the Holy Ghost and speaking in tongues need to understand that the spirit and the bride is calling you who am I talking to it's kind of a little bit tight I want to go in where is the warriors in here and so the Bible said let's give you let's give you another thing here and so somebody said the third dimension is to be baptized in the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues but God said you just really start because that is at the door before that you was outside and now when you get the Holy Ghost it usher you in and now you're at the door and God said I didn't call you to remain at the door I've got some things in store for you where is the worshippers? Somebody say something we have in church tonight, man. Shia Basaya. And God says now, the people them who own here are speaking tongues. I just tongues, 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 tongues. You use tongues to look powerful. You use tongues to show off. You use tongues to tell people, say, God, I use you. Reach your neighbor, say, neighbor, that's just the third dimension. God wants to shift you from the door. And he said, come on in because there's a higher level in God than out here. The, the fourth dimension is when you come to the table. Touch somebody, tell them God is inviting you to come to his table. Come and dine. God is calling to come and dine. Oh, Shia. When you are at the table of shoe bread. Can I give you a little revelation about the table? This table now have no chair. Where is the worshiper? Touch your neighbor and say, there's no chair around this table. Because there's no place to sit around this table. You just eat and move on, baby. Here is the warriors in here. Oh, touch your neighbor, say, eat and move on. Come on, where is the worshippers in here? Slap two people and tell them, take up your tent from the table of shoe bread. You need to eat some revelation. Tell your neighbor, tell your neighbor, the table is where the bread is broken. Is where the revelation of who Jesus is is revealed. Is where the mysteries of the kingdom is unfold. Oh Lord, I hear Elder Barrett say something when I reach the church tonight. Elder Barrett said, when you was preaching, I get a revelation. Anytime you're at the table of shoe bread, Bishop will be preaching and a message just pop up. My God, slap your neighbor. So when you're at the table of shoe bread, you'll be at your house talking some stuff. God, give you a message and you reason about it. And you're in at the taxi, you talk about it. And when you reach the church, the very thing you attack is the very thing Bishop will preach. Oh, slap your neighbor. So revelation will pop up. There is the warriors, man. This kind of flood. You see? You see what I'm going? You can see a lot of people here. Is at the table. Where is the warriors in here? Open your mouth and say, I'm at the table. Oh, Shia Basha. Yeah, Messiah. Yeah, Papa Shia. Shanda Basaya. Yeah, Papa Papa Shia. My God. 
my, 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 Somebody slap the neighbor say, I don't stop at the door. I walk over to the table and I'm eating the body of Christ. I'm eating the revelation of Christ. Christ is forming in me. Shanda. Yamashaya. Somebody said the spoken word is becoming the Rhema word. The Rhema word become the Lua cross. Somebody said Christ is being formed in me when I sit down and take in the word slap two people and tell them man shall not live by bread alone but by somebody said the bread man daily bread he said you must ask for daily bread yesterday revelation is not for today who am I talking to somebody have to get fresh man Oh, Shai, Shanda, drag your neighbor, say it's in here tonight. Fresh manna. Where is the belief? Where are the worshippers? Where are the worshippers? Where are the warriors? Come on, ask your neighbor, which level are you? Are you still on the outside? What did they say? Ask your neighbor, neighbor, are you? At the golden lampstand, what did they say? Come on, no man, ask your neighbor, no man. Where are you? Are you at the table? Are you eating fresh manna? You must always have fresh manna. You must always pray this word. Where is the worshippers, man? Where is the warriors in here, man? Pull one Pentecostal church, man. Pull one Holy Ghost field church. Pull one apostolic church. I say you need some fresh manna, man. You need fresh manna. Where is the believers up your mouth, man? That's why they don't like this church, you know. That's why they covet this church. That's why they fight this church. Because fresh brother pray. Where is the warriors in here, man? Up your mouth, man. Up your mouth, man. Up your mouth, man. We preach one thing today, and by tomorrow, a fresh bread of bread. Where is the world on here, man? Up your mouth and say something, man. Up your mouth and shout again, man. Up your mouth and lift him up, man. Up your mouth and magnify. Take two minutes and glorify. Take two minutes and glorify. God said, when you pray. Say to him, give us this day. Our what? Our daily bread. Now get me wrong, some people down here, they really manners. You know, hear me? They can't fool Bishop. They can't fool Bishop. Some of them really bang belly. Big head and then maga like whist. Where is the worshippers in here? Where is the warriors in here? Where is the warriors in here? But there is some in here tonight. They can throw their head back and say, Fresh bread me eat tonight. A fresh word me get tonight. A fresh bread I pray tonight. Where is the worshippers? Jesus said, Except you eat up my flesh. Where is the warriors in here, man? He said, I am the bread that came down from heaven. All right, I need to explain this now. Touch two people and tell them your leader and your church operates from the level of your art. Come on, touch your neighbor, say neighbor. Your church, your leaders operate from the level of their art. You can't be on the outer court and operate from the table of shoe bread. Where is the worshipers in here? 
Where is the warriors in here? So some things that religious people taught, they taught it because they are at elementary level. Let me explain. I, as a leader, come. See people walk in the church. And see them in, huh? And see them with various problems. Yes, Mr. People come at church and thief like a post. Yes, All right, let me bring you in something. Yes, you believe Jesus never knows a Jew that's a thief? Yes, <laughs> Where is the worship? Is it flat team, man? Where is the warriors in it? You think Jesus never knows a Jew that's a thief? Yes, sir. And Jesus still gave me money back. Yes, and Jesus never confront him and say, yo, stop thief the money, man. Why Jesus never confront him? You operate from the level you are at. Whatever dimension you are, that's where you operate from. Oh, shy, Abasa. Can I go? Shanda, feel something shifting. Now, shy, Abasa. My God, can I talk a little bit, please, and come back? Can we shift and then we come back? There's a lady that is here tonight. Your son is missing. And you really want to know what's wrong with your son. Where is your son? Come here, lady. Come here, come here, come here. Oh, you gotta operate from where you are. Where is the warrior? You can't do better. You just gotta function. Wherever your tent is, that's where you function from. Where is the believers? You should come here from Wednesday or Friday. But you're too late now. Shia. Shanda. What I'm going to do, I'm going to let you find your son. Somebody lift your hand and said, Fine. Where's your name? Adrian. Adrian. Fine, Adrian. Somebody said, Fine, Adrian. Fine. Holy Ghost, I'm going to make you a fine, Adrian. Somebody open your mouth and praise God again. Come on, warriors. Open your mouth and say something in here. Open your mouth and lift Jesus higher. Somebody say something. What kind of church is this? What kind of church is this? Shift the dynamics, man. Shift the dynamics. Open your mouth and shabba. Somebody say, fine, Adrian. You understand what just happened, my woman, Mr. Bishop? Hands high again. Hands high again. Somebody open your mouth and begin to plead the blood, 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 blood. Begin to cover the family. Give me some olive oil. Let me cover the family. Give me some olive oil. Let me cover the family. Shire. Let me cover you, let me cover you, let me cover your blood, blood coverage now. Blood coverage, blood coverage, blood coverage. Come, family members, come, run, come. Shire, somebody say blood coverage. Blood coverage, blood coverage, blood coverage. Blood coverage. Blood coverage. Blood coverage. Blood. Within three days, everything unfold. Today what? Within three days, everything unfold. Come, come, come. Somebody say three days and everything revealed. Shaya basa, ya masaya, ya pa 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 sa, shanda. You see it on the cleaner paper. You see it in the cleaner. Oh shaya, somebody plead the blood, blood and fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. You see it on the front page. You see it on the front page. 
and the gleaner. Somebody say, plead the blood, no man. Somebody say, plead the blood, no man. Somebody echo blood, 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 blood. I see the tree boy them in a blood, 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 blood. Me say me see the tree scam a boy them in a. Somebody echo blood, 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 blood. Shanda, yeah, Messiah, yeah, Papa, Papa, sir. Where are the warriors in here? Oh, Shanda. Oh, Shia. Oh, Shanda. Somebody say revelation. Somebody say revelation. Revelation. Things are being revealed. When you are operating from the table of shoe bread, things appear wide open. Things pop open. Somebody say when you operate from the table of shoe bread, mysteries begin to unveil itself where are the believers in here what is in the secret pop open before you oh shut oh shut of us somebody open your mouth we're calling the church world somebody call the church somebody call the church we are the bride you know the spirit and the bride say come on no warriors man we're calling the rest of church world move from the outer court too much flesh in the building too much loss of the eyes too much loss of the flesh too much pride of life drive it out deep is calling where is the warriors i can't finish this message tonight somebody throw your head back open your mouth shayabasa shanda we are calling the apostolic church to move from the third level and come over come dine with jesus come eat some revelation receive the deep mm, the deepness of the spirit come out of the shallow where is the warriors in here too much shallow christian where is the worshipers in here Mm, I said too much shallow Christian too much fleshly Christian where is the warriors touch two people and tell them leave in the principles of the doctrine of Christ leave in repentance leave in the different kind of baptisms leave in can I read it to you Paul said leave in the principles of Christ let us go on to perfection not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works somebody said that is on the outer court and if I dare you there that you're gonna keep on a table if that's where you are that you are gonna know about if that's where you are every time you're gonna focus on that but God says time to move away from that and shift towards God somebody said we're moving up the king's highway God is way over here move from down there let's go Jesus said I am the way I am the truth and I am the life he's calling you to move from where you are and come faith towards God doctrines doctrine of baptisms laying on of hands and of the resurrection of the dead and of eternal judgment touch your neighbor say those things are elementary teachings when you move from baptisms and you are at the table of shoe bread. We only preach these things when God permits. Touch it. When you have time, you read Hebrews chapter 6. Somebody say, when you have time? Touch your neighbor say, when you have time? Read Hebrews chapter 6. Where are the believers? And you, one person is ready for water baptism. Where is the warriors in here? Where is the believers in here? 
Is there one more person that is ready to be baptized in Jesus' name? Is there one more person that is ready to be baptized in Jesus' name? Is there one more person that is ready to give your life to God? Where are the believers? Up me a mouth and say something. Up me a mouth and yada the king. Up me a mouth and lift Jesus higher. Somebody shout again. Somebody shout again. Somebody shout one more praise in here. Somebody showed one more glory in here. Somebody lift Jesus higher. Next time we finish this thing, move it. We'll finish this one next time. Touch somebody, so we'll go there another time. Come on, tell anybody the church is full of glory now. So we got to move from right where we are. And let's go over. Where is the warriors? We're going over. Somebody slip your two hands in the air. Open me your mouth and shout one more. Up your mouth and shout glory. Up your mouth and shout a glory. Hallelujah. Shout a glory. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody shall back the king in here. Somebody yada the king. Oh, shia. Somebody say something. Up your mouth and yada the king. Up your mouth and lift Jesus higher. Somebody give him a high praise. 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 God say he's ready son son God say he's ready to take you up to a new dimension yeah somebody help him open your mouth and help him open your mouth and yada the king open your mouth and lift Jesus higher where is the warriors in here somebody shout out the king of kings somebody lift up the lord of lords somebody praise God in this house Shia come here son come here walk with me where are the believers it's flat to sit somebody throw your head back man open your mouth open your mouth and give God open your mouth and lift Jesus higher open your mouth and yada him come here preacher man come here preacher man God says to tell you that you are in him you are in God oh where is the worshipers in here where is the what where's a where's a wife where's a wife your wife is at home huh today's how much again today how much 29 right I'm a free preacher 29 huh Monday 30, Monday Sunday 29. Yes, All right, you can use anyone you want to use now. <laughs> now, I don't think November should have come and you and get a baby. You know? I think your baby for born. I want you want the baby born. Oh, Shia. Oh, Shanda. Where are the worshippers in here? Where are the believers in here? Where are the believers in here? Somebody say something. We are in church. You know? So let's have some church tonight. Where are the warriors in here? Now. So. You want your baby born before November? Huh? Lift your hand and say baby born. Before November. You see that son? You see that? You see that? You see that? Where are the believers in here? You better say something in here. You better give God a high praise in here. Sons of God arise. Sons of God arise. Arise and walk in the power of God. Now are we the sons of God. It do it not yet appear what we shall be. But we know, oh Shia, touch your neighbor and say, what manner of love the Father had bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of God. Shia Basa, come here son. You are a son of God. Some strange things happening at your workplace 
Where is the worshipers in here? Are you? I mean the throne. I mean the throne. Shire. So, some strange thing will happen. Just so those things will happen. Them I try fight you out of the work. Oh, Shire. So, the aisle where you see. You see island. Holy Ghost tell you who are using the island. Holy Ghost show you who are sprinkler island. Where is the worshippers in here, man? Where is the warrior? They can't hide you, you know? My God, where is the believers in here? Where is the worshippers in here? Somebody up me a mountain, man. Say something in this house. Where are the believers? Where are the worshippers? It's time for the church to operate from here. Shire. Son. Now, the church is going to help you. Because when we are by ourselves, we are weak. Touch your neighbor. So when you see a pack of buffaloes, there's no lion, no herd of lion, no herd of hyena, no pack, sorry, no pack of hyenas can't defeat a herd of buffalo because we travel together. Anytime the devil wants to destroy a child of God, him tell us stay home. Where is the worshippers? Touch two people. I said, touch two people and say, don't you forsake the assembling of yourselves together. When you're weak, come a church. When you're sick, come a church. When you're depressed, come a church. When all hell is breaking loose and you come to the house of God. Son, this rug have to go back. Take it to work. You're going to work tomorrow? Bring this rug to work. Oh, basa. And that's super. Super. Where is the worshippers in here, man? Where is the Holy Ghost feel? Fire baptize. Say something in here. Say something in here. Where are the believers in here? After we say three Holy Ghost are God here. And everything we then do. Just walk and do things like this. Blood. Hallelujah. When they touch yes, everything we see Alpan just go there and say blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Deal with that old droppy. Drive him back to a far country. Where is the worshippers? Every unclean spirit got to back up. Mm, warriors, where are you? You ready? Warriors, you ready? After three shout Jesus over him. And watch God fight his battle. One, two, three. One, two, three. Jesus. Shayabasa. My God, that's it. Somebody declare war. Somebody war. Somebody shout war. Somebody shout war. Shayabasa. Yamasaya. Shayabasa. Yamasaya. Why? Pushing back every attack. Somebody plead the blood. Somebody plead the blood. Somebody plead the blood. Oh, Shia. Shanda. Yama Massa. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's it. That's it. That's it. Yes, yes, yes. That's it. That's it. Yes, sir, yes, sir. The Holy Ghost is lifting a standard. I said the Holy Ghost is lifting a standard. Somebody say something. Shayabasa. 
Yamasaya. My, 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 my. Mama, mama, mama. Somebody say something. Somebody say something. Somebody plead the blood. Somebody echo the blood, 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 blood. A Wednesday at the court. You know, hear me? I say, A Wednesday at the court case. I went. A Wednesday at the court. I want this rod to walk in the courtroom Wednesday. Shire. I say, I want this rock to walk in the courtroom Wednesday. Come for this rock now. If I Wednesday at the court. Shire. 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 Courtroom Wednesday. Yeah, that rock. Courtroom Wednesday. Who only goes to lift up a standard? Who only goes to give the victory? Who only goes to overturn? Some as you overturn it, who only goes? Some as you overturn it, Holy Ghost. Overturn it, Holy Ghost. Shut the Messiah. Yeah, Mama Sha. Yeah, Papa Papa Sha. Somebody plead the blood, blood, blood. Somebody plead the blood and say, Fire, fire. Holy Ghost, fire. Holy Ghost, fire. Holy Ghost, fire, fire. Shire. My God. My, my, my. Mama, mama, sa. Shanda, basaya. Yeah, papa, papa, sa. Yeah, masaya. Shanda. Tonight, God, I reverse that stroke there. Come. Shire. Tonight, God, I turn your health around. Where is the worshippers? Where are the warriors? Where are the warriors? Where are the believers? Come on, somebody. It's not by might nor by power. It is by my spirit, says the Lord. Shia Basa. Ya Messiah. Ya Papa Papa Sa. My God, you feel that? You feel the shift? Yeah, the shift in the atmosphere. Mandusha, Rinda Basi, Rikando Basia, Randy Kusa, Reba Sikunda, Reba Si, Mama Masha, Shanda, Yamasha. Somebody keep the praises on, man. Somebody keep the praises on. Somebody keep the praises on. Somebody keep the praises on. When I lay my hand on you, the Spirit of God shall sit on your son. And it shall fix your body for you. When I lay my hand on you tonight, high blood pressure will be ordinary. Leave us in here. When I lay my hand on you, God shall turn your health around. We are the worshippers that come here to receive a word from God. Somebody stretch your hands towards him after three. All you need to do is just say Jesus. Dave. Dave. God said to tell you it's not over until God says it's over. You're getting back your life again. Where is the worshiper? Say something in here. Where are the believers? Say something in here. Where are the warriors? Say something in here. Intercessors, say something in here. Come on, jump stand and say something in here. After three, just stretch your hands towards him. After three, just call on the name of the Lord. They that call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered. One, two, three. Silver and gold, have I none? 
but such as I have give I thee in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth I command you I command your body to be healed now and somebody help him that's it somebody help him that's it somebody help him Somebody plead the blood, 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 Somebody echo the blood. Somebody echo the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. I command your body to be healed. Now, somebody say something. Shia, somebody say something. Somebody say something. Somebody shout, be healed. Somebody shout, be healed. By the power of Jesus' blood, be healed. Somebody help him, the man. Come in. Jesus. You believe the Lord can heal you? You're sure he can heal you? Well, Jesus tell me to tell you. He was wounded. For our transgressions. He was bruised. For our iniquities. Yes. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his tribes. You are healed. What the doctor can do. Hallelujah. God is going to do it for you tonight. Sha, what did the doctor tell us? Eh? Hallelujah. Where is the worshippers in here? Where is the warriors in here? Give me a water. Somebody said, give me my water. Shia. Shia. Yamasa. Yapapasa. My Shia. My God. Somebody say something. Mama. Somebody say something. Shia. Basaya. Somebody open your mouth. Give God another praise in here. I said, Give God. Shia. Look in my eyes. When you drink this water, the fry brides, they shall swink. Where is the warrior? So they shall dry up by the fire of God. Where are the believers that come here? That come here to see a move from God. Open your mouth and say something. I say, open your mouth and say something. Open your mouth and yada him. Open your mouth and lift Jesus higher. Shia. Father, please touch this water ah, with your blood. Use it to bring forth healing and deliverance. Reverse the curse and give your children liberty. Please, in the name of Jesus Christ, somebody open your mouth and say something. Where are the believers? Say something, warriors. I say, say something, warriors. Say something, warriors. Say something, warriors. Say something, warriors. Break the seal. Break 
the seal. Hallelujah. Break Hallelujah. the seal. Shia Basa. I command Fibri to dry up by the fire of God. Somebody better open your mouth and believe God in this house. Believe God in this house. Oh, believe God in this house. Believe God in this house. Believe God in this house. Now, I didn't call you just for the fiber ride. I call you because there's a burning in this breast. Every now and then, I command you to be healed now. Shia. Shanda Messiah. Messiah. My God, you see that? You see that preacher? I hear somebody say, I feel the burning in my left breast too, Bishop. I feel the burning. Come. Stand up right here. Where is the worshippers? It's kind of a little bit too flat. It's kind of a little bit too flat. I command you to be healed. I command you to be healed. I command you to be healed. Not tomorrow, not next week. Now! Oh, Shia. Somebody plead the blood, no man. Somebody plead the blood, no man. Somebody plead the blood, blood, blood. Blood, 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 blood. Somebody say something in this house. Somebody shout a glory. Somebody shout a glory. Hallelujah. Open your mouth, lift Jesus higher in this house. Somebody shout a glory, hallelujah. Somebody shout a thank you, Jesus. Where is the worshippers? Somebody say something. Where are the praisers? Somebody say something. Open your mouth and magnify God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come here. Yes. Shia. Come and drink this. There's a movement in your belly. Every now and then you feel like something moving in your belly. Gotcha, he's healing you. Not tomorrow. Not next week, but right now. Shanda. Somebody say right now. Somebody say right now. Be healed by the power of Jesus' blood. Come on, warriors. Say something in here. Be healed now. Right now. Right now, why we are say something? Right now, why we are say something? Right now, why we are say something? Shanda Masa, Ya Masaya, be healed now by the power of Jesus' blood. Shanda, somebody give God one more praise in this house. Somebody give God one more praise in this house. Somebody give God one more shout in this house. Somebody give God a high praise. Somebody give the Lord a high praise. Somebody shout a glory, hallelujah. Shout a glory, thank you, Jesus. I hear God said to tell you, it's not over until God says over. God said to tell you, He's gonna open door that no man can shut. And when God door, and then the door is shut, it simply means He shut this one to open my bigger one. I speak it over you. A new door is about to swing before you. I declare and decree that God is opening a bigger door. Travel, travel. Somebody say something. Where are the warriors? Somebody open your mouth, man. Somebody open your mouth and give God a praise. Open your mouth and yada. Open your mouth and give him a high praise in here. I need a water. I'm not true yet. Bring the water. Come. Shia. God tell me to tell you. Hallelujah. Jesus. God tell me to tell you. Your gift. Move God. 
your gift save God your job your giving is acceptable unto God we are the warriors in here we are the worshippers in here we are the believers in here the first thing God is going to do for you Shia Basa. The first thing God is going to do for you is heal that bloatedness. Sometimes you just feel like your belly bloat up and get stiff. God is healing you tonight. We are the warriors in here. We are the worshippers in here. We are the believers in here. After three, all you need to do is show Jesus over her. And there's a shift coming her way. One. Silver gold, have I none? But such as I have, give I thee in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Be healed now. Shia, Shanda Basa, Yamasaya. Somebody open your mouth and help her. 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 Up your mouth and help her. Hallelujah. 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 Shire. And I see two fibroid. One was there, went away, and come back. And God says tonight he's healing that. Shire. Hallelujah. Somebody open your mouth and say, It's not by might, it's not by power, it is by my spirit, says the Lord. Shia, drink and be healed now. Warriors, keep the praises on. Drink and be healed now. Warriors, keep the praises on. I say, Drink. Shia, be healed. Be healed. 